Remember back when you were a child, chasing fireflies on camping trips and wishing that you could glow just like them? Well, turns out that the scientific significance of bioluminescence goes way beyond just a pretty light show. Today, I'll be talking about a special glowing protein called green fluorescence protein, or GFP, that has revolutionized biology. This protein doesn't come from fireflies, but jellyfish, specifically a species called Acoria victoria, which glows green under UV light. It was first discovered by scientist Dr. Shimamura, who tried to isolate the bioluminescent protein in the jellyfish. But when he extracted the protein, called a corin, he realized that it actually emits blue light. And as we can see from the picture of the green jellyfish, seems kind of weird. He realized that GFP caused a green fluorescence and isolated that protein. Turns out, GFP captures the blue light from a corin and converts it into the brilliant green light. Now that may not seem like such a big deal, but the cool thing about GFP is that scientists have deciphered the gene sequence, so they can tag specific genes by inserting the GFP sequence next to the target gene. You can't see individual proteins with the naked eye, but with the GFP tag, you can track gene expression and protein activity. To unravel more of the amazing advantages GFP brings, let's take a look at its structure. Its unique structure can be described as can-shaped. Beta sheets form the outside of the can, and the ends are capped by alpha helixes. Nestled in the middle of the GFP can is a special molecule called the chromophore, which causes the beautiful green glow. So how does the structure correlate with GFP's incredible applications in biology? Well, first, many other proteins introduced to cells require other molecules or enzymes to catalyze its formation, but GFP folds instantaneously without the help of anything else. This makes scientists' lives much easier since they can simply introduce GFP into organisms without having to add any additional components. The outer layer can also protects the chromophore from solvents, allowing GFP to work even under extreme conditions. And lastly, it is non-toxic to organisms, so scientists can just add GFP to organisms without worrying about messing up protein function or inflicting harm. In fact, GFP has been successfully introduced in organisms including frogs, mice, cats, rabbits, monkeys, and flies. After Dr. Shimamura's discovery, scientists like Dr. Chen have improved GFP and created multicolor mutants, some using other organisms like bioluminescent coral and sea anemone, so that now there's a whole rainbow of fluorescent tag proteins. GFP has been extremely widely used by scientists to analyze real-time protein and cell activity. Through fluorescence microscopy, where different types of light can be shown on the specimen, Scientists can tag parts of the cell with different fluorescent dyes. In this picture, the nuclei are blue, mitochondria are red, and actin filaments are green. In 2007, researchers at Harvard University developed a process called Rainbow, in which neuron circuits are mapped in the brain with a rainbow of 90 different colors of fluorescent proteins. This technology, which was performed on mice, helps elucidate neural networks for scientists to better understand the causes and possible treatments for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. These are just a few of the numerous applications of GFP and its variants. By helping us better understand biological phenomena, GFP has become the biologist's best friend and the guiding light for a brighter future. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. If you would like to learn about any topic in biology, just comment it below and I'll try to talk about it in my next video.